Today we are working with rational functions, finding zeros and undefined x values. Here's my function, f of x equals x squared minus 16 all over x plus 2. Your first step should be to factor this equation as much as possible. Now if I look up here at the top, x squared minus 16 is a difference of squares. Difference of squares should give me a squared plus or a squared minus b squared should give me a plus b times a minus b. So I factor this out all the way. I should end up with x plus 4 times x minus 4. And the bottom, well, I can't factor that anymore, so I have x plus 2. Now, there's two parts to this. Now, we're going to find the zeros, and then we're going to find undefined values. So, well, let's start here in red with the zeros. For the zeros, we want to look at the numerator, the top. We're going to look at the top part, that right there, the x plus 4 and the x minus 4. So, if any one of those two terms is 0, our whole equation is going to be 0. So our first one, let's start with, it's going to be x plus 4 equals 0, or the second one, x minus 4 equals 0. So it looks like we're going to have two zeros. This one, first one here, subtract 4 from both sides, we're left with x equals negative 4. The second one, we want to add 4 to both sides, x equals plus 4. So we have zeros at x minus 4 and x equals positive 4. So we have zeros at minus 4 and positive 4. Good. Next step. Let's do our undefined. When we do the undefined, we want to look at the denominator. We're looking at that denominator, that x plus 2, because we can't divide by 0. So we want to find out what values of x will give us a 0 on the bottom. So in order to do that, we do x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from both sides. x equals minus 2. So wherever x equals minus 2, it's going to be undefined. So to quickly recap that, it's going to be, we're going to have zeros at minus 4 and plus 4. So we're going to have a zero there. Plus, we're going to be undefined wherever x equals negative 2. We're not going to actually have any x values. So once again, for the zeros, we look at the numerator. That's the top. For the undefined, we look at the bottom, the denominator. Set them both to zero. We can have a zero on the top. We can't have a zero on the bottom. That's all you need to know for finding zeros and undefined values.